and welcome to this edition of Cal TV's Breaking News. I'm Ali Wolf. And I'm Sonia Fleury. Thank you for joining us. Last Wednesday, the Israeli military began a series of raids in neighboring Palestine after a rocket launched by the Palestinian government killed an Israeli student. The Israeli military operations conducted in response to the rocket resulted in an emergency UN Security Council meeting on Saturday night after the offensive left two Israeli soldiers and at least 110 Palestinians dead. On Monday, the student group Students for Justice in Palestine staged an emergency die-in on Sproul Plaza to commemorate deaths on both sides this past weekend and to bring awareness to the ongoing crisis in the region. Students and community members on both sides of the issue turned out to hold signs, wave flags, and voice their opinions on a conflict that has created controversy at Cal and in the world for many years. We decided to have an emergency die-in because it was about the urgency of now that we really needed to protest what's going on right now in Gaza and that we couldn't stand by like the innocent deaths of so many civilians on both sides. We're disgusted by what we see over here, not because SJP doesn't have the right to express themselves because they do, but we're disgusted by the distortion of fact that's going on back here. The fact of the matter is, for months, even years, the Palestinians have been firing rockets into Israel. What Israel does is they go into Gaza and the West Bank and they respond by using targeted attacks. Yes, some civilians get hurt, but the fact of the matter is, the Palestinians need to cease the rocket attacks into Israel if they want Israelis to stop going in and defending themselves as a nation because Israel has the right to do that. The violence that's been going on over the border and within the occupied territories of Palestine is not something that's within the past year, it's not within the past few months, it's not within the past few years. It's been going on since the creation of Israel and since the initial occupation of Israel. I hope that events like this can be opportunities for dialogue, for conversation, for real roots of democracy and someday towards a peaceful solution. Um, unfortunately, I think that it turns into a shouting match between two sides. But when the pro-Israel group Tikva held up a sign in front of the die-in reading, Victims of Palestinian Terror, the Students for Justice in Palestine responded to what they deemed to be an appropriation of their protest. We are lying down for your purposes, so get the hell out of here right now. Okay. Go stand over to the side. No, I am calm. Okay, I am calm. Why don't you keep I am calm. I am holding down. Please. No, you leave them alone. Excuse me? No, no, no. no. Were you listening to what he said? Did you hear what I okay, said? Okay, exactly. Bus, bus, What's your bus, bus. down there, big guy. We encourage the people holding up that sign to come lie down with us if that's what they truly believe. Otherwise, if they can please move their sign so as to not misrepresent our process. We don't mind you holding up a sign. We don't mind information. We don't mind by blocking the walkway, the main walkway of campus, and holding up big signs with words like Holocaust and genocide, it's very easy to incite anger, to incite emotion, to incite the kinds of things which, ironically enough, bring about terror, bring about hatred and violence. Israel has always searched for peace, and Israel continues to look for peace, and we hope one day that we can have peace and that we can live together. There's a lot more mutual suffering going on uh, than, like, uh, one side versus one one side versus another. It's obviously terrible what's going on in the region. I think the United States should stop funding Israel. I think the United States should tear down its wall on the Mexican border. I think the, that Berkeley should tear down that fence around the Oak. I think we need to learn, together, learn to live together as brothers, and fences don't do that. The world is sick, the earth is being killed by humanity, and yet we're still bombing each other and building fences and walls to keep each other off the land that we stole from each other. And if we don't learn to get along and live as brothers, we're going to die as fools.